File 9. Listening to 1. What's wrong? I have to give a presentation in 10 minutes and I can't plug my laptop in. What's the problem? I forgot that the outlets were different in Europe and I didn't bring an adapter from the US. Here, why don't you use my cable? It has a European plug on it. Thank you so much. 2. How did the presentation go? It went well, thanks. Here's your cable. I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't met you. Glad I could help. Technology isn't as international as we would like it to be, is it? The first time I used an English keyboard, I kept pressing the wrong keys. It was very embarrassing. I had to use my own laptop with a Spanish keyboard for a while because I was making so many mistakes. 3. Good morning. How can I help you? Hello. I bought a computer recently from this store and I'm having a few problems with it. I didn't realize there were only two USB ports. I need to keep one just for the mouse, so that only leaves one for everything else. If I want to plug in a memory stick and connect to the printer, I have to unplug something else. What would you suggest I do? Well, the simplest thing would be to buy a USB hub, which, for just a few dollars, allows you to plug in up to seven devices at once. Four. How was your vacation in Australia, Kate? It was wonderful, but I must tell you about the most amazing coincidence. Really? What happened? I was walking in the Blue Mountains and decided to write a postcard to a friend I hadn't seen for a long time named Sue. So I walked into Katoomba, a small local town, to buy a stamp, and I had just come out of the post office when I saw Sue walking down the street. I couldn't believe it. That's extraordinary. So did you give her the postcard? Yes. If I'd met her five minutes earlier, I could have saved a stamp. Five. Gus, have you ever been helped by a complete stranger? Yes, when I was a student. I was traveling around Mexico one summer and arrived in a village pretty late. I couldn't find anywhere to stay, and I didn't speak the language, which didn't help. So what happened? Well, luckily, I met an old couple and tried to explain that I was looking for a hotel. They were very patient, and when they understood, they just pointed to their house, which was nearby. If I hadn't met them, I might have had to sleep in the park. How kind of them!